What is the fastest programming language in the world? Assembly, C, Go, Zig, and Rust. Let's compare these five first. Later on, we can go with Python, JavaScript, and PHP. As those later programming language cannot produce a binary file. So it would take some time to compare. Let's concentrate on C and assembly first. Let's create a directory. There are several assembler present, but I will use the NASM for today's test. Let's create an assembly file first. Let's call it hello.asm and data section would be the first to declare. I think I'll be able to generate a simple boilerplate hello world using any code generator. So this is the code. Let's see how it goes. This is the section data and data is declared along with the new line backslash in section text and this is the start point and it is using the syscall. Let's save it and quit now it's time to generate executable nasm dash f e l f 64 hello dot asm the assembly code ld dash o hello let's identify this with underscore asm and hello underscore asm dot o this will be the object file similar to c and it will run the hello executable binary right now i see it is showing as red that means it is right now unable to find this hello underscore asm but later on as this build goes it will be able to find this see nasm is not installed on my system as i am using arch based distro it will be pretty much easy to get one wonder to see the download size it is only 1 mb and after installation it would take around 5 mb let's proceed with the installation the installation is done let's run see this has successfully generated hello world using assembly nasm hello world is there let's find the hello executable hello executable is only 8.9 kilobyte so our next target would be to run the hello world in c the file name would be hello.c let's edit this file first we must include stdio.h stdio.h it is for the standard input output definition it's better to use int main and let's declare the main function printf the hello world must be within the quotation else it will search for any variables hello world is done now it is time to provide a next line argument which is backslash n i know there are some operating system they require much more just to define the next line argument it's better to return a zero as it identifies as a successful run return zero so our program is ready now let's run this program see the hello world is there and it has successfully given the next line now it is time to see the size of the binary it is 15 kilobyte see assembly to see it has increased nearly as double as the binary size now let's try how go performs create a directory only for the go make the directory hello underscore go and change the directory to hello underscore go micro hello dot go first i'll have to declare the package package main and i'll have to import formatting that means it will take care of input output and formatting import fmt by the way fmt is default within the go compiler so i do not require any additional information now it is time to declare the main function function main still it seems like a c program because the developer of c and go are near the same just you can understand as go as a much better and modern c programming having multiple added advantages like handling the network understanding of modern hardware capability to run multiple threads especially the concurrency to handle concurrent process go is much easier so the fmt dot print we must include within quotation else it would search for any variables it has successfully integrated hello world and now i don't require to return any value now it's time to build the go program go build hello.go go is not installed on this system 
actually i'm using a new system with a new keyboard okay let's search for the go see there is two binary one is go and another is gcc go for the original go it would take around 43 mb to download and for the gcc go it would take only 33 mb so there is a size difference but i feel the original go not the gcc one is much more compatible like if you want to build a bigger project you must use the go package provided by google so let's proceed with the download and installation it would not take much of a time as i see it is installed what a great experience i see go build is taking quite a moment okay now it's time to see yes the go already has built the hello world file see hello world within go has taken 2 mb 8 kb 16 kb and now only to echo hello world it takes more than 2 mb see there are some examples where you choose programming language based on your needs if you want simplicity if you want ready-made functions you must choose modern ones but if you want a groundbreaking application like driver operating system kernel it's better to choose assembly or c C and assembly feels very much similar but in case of Go there are multiple overhead but there are also another point like if you cannot handle multiple CPU threads concurrency much better than the Go then you should not think about that level of optimization. In that case you must choose the Go language for your development. I wonder how modern days new generation language handles this type of simplest requirement that is echoing the hello world so zig nowadays coming as a alternate to older programming language like c now let's check how zig performs make a directory hello underscore zig now i am in hello underscore zig hello dot zig now it is the simplest like standard output input and the main public function here is the difference it comes again public within a simplest program okay let's proceed with zig run see zig also not installed on this system let's install it within the command line it is unable to find zig let's try the octopi see zig is here let's install the zig 105 mb just to download okay let's proceed with the zig download and installation the zig install Installation is successfully done. Now let's rerun this. I see Zig is using LLVM under the hood. So I see the build command for Zig is build exe. Build dash exe. Now see the executable for the hello world. See it is much much bloated. I see the reason. I can understand the reason, but still it is bloated. So the file size increase we can see few kb to mb now it is going fat now let's see how rust goes mkdir hello underscore for rust the hello world is much simplest one micro hello dot rs function main now let's declare the function print ln not hello world as c directives we must end the line using semicolon let's save and quit rust c is the program to generate the build even to run rust c hello dot rs the output binary file would be hello see the rust c is also not present let's install rust c i find three installable options one is rust up another is rust and the cavity AUR is providing another repository. The first and third one is most latest as you see the version 1.28.2 and the extra rust it is 1.89 but it is coming from the rust line so i would prefer to use this second one it is around 66 mb <laughs> download speed is around 13 to 12 mbps so is installed within few moments now let's run this command and let's take a look rust is a much polished modern and my favorite because of the new way of memory management so i'm getting all the bugs it has a vibrant community and it is great to see the binary size it is not the 
if i compare with c or assembly but it provides lowest possible binary output if we compare with go or zig today i found another reason to like rust the most after c of course and c comes after assembly as i don't have enough expertise or experience in assembly i had to use other languages it's better if you create your own http server your own application each and every application written in assembly so that you can leverage each and every aspect of the cpu itself so it is not possible that is the reason why we need modern languages by the way still i have not run this hello let's try it with hello see the hello world it is working it must be working so what i have learned today i have learned to install multiple programming language build tools using the arch repository using octopi and i have found some experience how fat the executable are in terms of various programming languages to summarize let's see the file size comparison in one place let's clear the screen file hello slash hello if i see the file information for the assembly it is quite good and compact in case of rust and c we see the dependency is injected over here lib64.so file it is similar to dll file for other derogatory type operating systems in linux we find .so file c for rust and c the interpreter is defined now i will list those file size now i see all the file sizes for assembly it is 8.9 kb for c it is 15 kb for go it is 2.2 mb for zig it is 2.8 mb for rust it is only 446 kb see 446 kb is much heavier than having few kbs but with rust you get more flexibility so you will be able to build your desired application much much faster and rust has cargo implementation implementation there are a lot of application built using cargo you will be able to use all those cargo packages within your system it feels like having python pip packages but much much easier so i think i have learned something today i will continue tomorrow